Our next registered speaker is uh, Robert Cox. My name is Robert Cox, and I live at 173 Mount Joy Place. Happy I got that right this time. Um, it's become apparent that the residents of New Rochelle have been misled by their local government regarding a serious matter involving significant risk to human life, not to mention negative consequences for property owners in and around Echo Bay namely Sutton Manor, Premium Point, Davenport Neck, and the Mill Pond area of Larchmont, and significant negative consequences for taxpayers who were quite nearly put on the hook for many millions of dollars in environmental cleanup costs. For six months, I have been seeking to obtain public records under the Freedom of Information Law related to the Army Corps of Engineer report on a proposed and rejected aquatic restoration project at Echo Bay. The study was requested by Nita Lowy and undertaken in 2005. The final report was issued in March of 2006. The Corps found large amounts of mercury, lead, <coughs> and barium in the soil in and around Echo Bay, along with other toxic metals and oil. To the best of my knowledge, this report was never made public, never discussed at a city council meeting, never made available to all members of city council, not included or referenced in the Forest City DEIS or FEIS for Echo Bay, and withheld from the current city council members, at least some of them that I talked to, prior to voting on the proposed land disposition agreement. Fortunately, that agreement was rejected by city council last month, but that does not address the issue at hand. Given the ongoing efforts at misdirection and obfuscation, there could be no other conclusion but that city officials buried this report and are now engaged in a cover-up. Given the risk to human life, the tax impact, and the potential damage to property values for property owners in that area, it is simply not acceptable for the city to have held this information from the public for the past seven plus years and to thwart efforts today to provide this information to the public. The city manager finally admitted three weeks ago that he was fully aware of the report and further that the report had been shared with Forest City and that the city had coordinated discussions involving Forest City and the Army Corps of Engineers. This is quite a turnaround after five months of claims by the city to have no knowledge of the Corps report. The public and their representatives are entitled to a full accounting, both of the Corps report and the apparent effort to hide the report from public view. I would urge council to direct the city manager to turn over to me all relevant records forthwith and put this entire matter on the agenda for discussion next month. Thank you.